Narendra Modi was in 2019 with Kesevan, who was the former ISRO chief, when the Chandrayaan 2 could not land uh, softly like Chandrayaan 3 on the moon. It was a heartbreak, but the Prime Minister was with the ISRO chief. This time, he was in Johannesburg for the BRICS summit, but he did not want to miss the moment. So before, barely minutes before that landing took place, he joined virtually. And there was clearly, after a pause, a smile and the waving of the tricolour by Prime Minister Modi as well. He's likely to meet the ISRO heroes when he returns on Saturday. But here's all that happened. And how did he celebrate? That was with the diaspora in South Africa. Meri taraf se, aapko, aapki puri team ko, bahut, bahut badhai. For Narendra Modi, this is personal. और सबको मेरी तरफ से अभिनंदन कह दीजिए और हो सके उतना जल्दी मैं आप सबको रूबरू में भी बधाई दूंगा On Wednesday, minutes before the Chandrayaan 3 lander kissed the moon surface, the Indian Prime Minister entered the room from 7,000 kilometers away. And as soon as the touchdown was successfully complete, the celebrations broke out. People are applauding. Let us all wait to hear. It was Modi who was invited by the ISRO chief to address the ecstatic organization. Of the entire ISRO community has come to fruition. Namaskar. Sir, we have achieved soft landing on the moon. India is on the moon. Bharat bar bar ye sabit kar raha hai. The sky is not the limit. Safely or softly. Modi's tryst with Chandrayaan goes back away. ये हम लोगों के लिए बहुत ही गर्व की बात है. Modi was personally present in Bengaluru four years ago when the previous Chandrayaan mission didn't quite end on a high. These images of Prime Minister consoling and embracing an emotional K7. The then ISRO chief exploded across the minds of a nation that joined the scientific community in mourning the loss of the lander. For Chandrayaan 3, it is likely the Prime Minister wasted to be in Bengaluru but couldn't owing to his attendance of the BRICS summit in South Africa. And given the Prime Minister's personal touch and weight of expectations, he knows he's going to have to do better than a video call. चांद से जुड़े मिथक बदल जाएंगे। And that's why after his stopover in Greece this week, he will fly directly to Bengaluru on Saturday morning, where he is expected to spend the day with the jubilant ISRO team and undoubtedly promise them even more support as ISRO sets its sights on the sun next. Bureau report, India Today.